when you are coming into Walmart or let it be any other company, right? One thing that you should definitely ha uh, have knowledge is DSA. And as a data engineer, SQL is the most important thing that you should have. You should every day uh, practice on SQL because see, when you are playing the data, um, no matter what framework you are using, SQL will definitely come. People usually ask like that, okay, they are doing course, but uh, when you go into some industry, right, into some company, then the, how will you work in that production kind of environment? So that course not only helps in different uh, modules, but it will help you build the entire data plan from and data pipeline from end to end. It is also helping you to productionize the data pipeline, do a CI CD part. Because since I was not from a big data background, I always felt that okay, how will you? I mean, if you someone will tell you right how you, you will use Git and how you will deploy the data pipelines, that then also you will get overwhelmed. Hey folks, welcome to Trendy Tech. This is Mansa Nagraj with yet another interesting episode to the series Experiences of Data Engineers. In today's podcast, you will be understanding the do's and don'ts during the interview phase, right from our expert big data professionals who have had real-time hands-on experience in attending multiple interviews and bagging ample number of offers from top-notch companies. Who better than them to get the insights from, right? So let's jump right into the podcast and hear it out from one such super cool data engineer, Ashutosh Rai. Well, Ashutosh is a complete newbie, a novice to the data engineering field. He has had zero experience in the big data workspace. After having had initial challenges and setbacks, he is right now working successfully as a data engineer in one of the top most product based companies across the globe, Walmart. So let's listen to his story and do watch until the end to know how exactly did he manage to get this commendable hype of 250% over his current CTC. Hey Ashutosh, a very warm welcome. Thank you for tuning in today to the podcast and uh, I would really appreciate if you could introduce yourself to the audience. Hello Mansa and uh, I, I really thank you for having me here in the podcast and also I want to congratulate the entire Trendy Tech team and Sumit because every now and then I see that someone who has joined this course has become a data engineer and has not only become a data engineer and is doing very well in the industry so many congratulations for that. So now regarding now uh, moving ahead with my introduction. So I have graduated from KIIT University in Bhubaneswar. After graduation, I joined Bosch as a full-time employee as a, as a data engineer. Where I was basically working on uh, tools, for example SAP BW, which was a warehouse tool and an ETL tool. And uh, after that, I switched to Genpack. So my completely tech stack got changed from Bosch to Genpack. Where in Genpack I was working on AWS building the entire data pipelines using all the managed services in AWS. And then again I shifted to uh, Walmart where again my complete tech stack got changed. So here I was basically, I'm basically a G, working as a data engineer in GCP, Kubernetes, all the whatever tool you call they they here we use it in Walmart. So the every time I have switched from one company to another, my entire tech stack had changed. So this is how my journey has been. So yeah, this is such an know. interesting journey. Yeah. So there is a lot of shift uh, in the tech stack, the the tech stack that you worked on. Really nice. So were there any major challenges that you faced uh, during this transitional phase of your career? Yeah. So. As I mentioned, I was not in from exactly from a data engineer background. I was working on tools and technologies like SAP BW. It's a base, basically a warehouse tool and ETL tools where I didn't have to code much. I was basically doing uh, building the workflows using drag and drop kind of tools. So there are many challenges you will face if you are not basically from a data engineer background. So um, few challenges that I faced were first one is the management. So, if you are a working professional, the first problem you will face how you will you manage your time along with work. Now, in my case, how it become bit easier because when I started the course with Sumit, at that point of time, COVID had started and I was working from home. And to all those who are now going to join the course, for them also it will become easier because now every company is now shifting to hybrid uh, culture. 
but if let's suppose there is someone who has to go to office then at least uh, they have to manage their time at least giving one or two hours a day will work for them now since i had no exposure to the uh, big data technology tools and technology so i was the major roadblock that i was facing is that uh, i was not aware about the real world use cases in big data okay although i was seeing uh, how data works i was uh, since i was working on the data engineering tools right i was seeing the data that was coming from industry but since i was not working in big data tools every time when i used to u- watch any youtube videos or i used to read some blogs about data engineering right there are so many tools the big data t- technology itself is so huge who so vast that when i will talk when uh, you will go through each and every technology right you will get overwhelmed by, by, by the all the tools and technologies so this is another thing to so having no exposure is a problem uh, another problem and uh, challenge that i faced and the third and the uh, last problem and challenge that i faced is that since i was not from a big data background and i, uh, I was working on tools i was not doing any programming stuff so being a big data engineer you really have to have knowledge of a programming stuff because if you compare an sd with a big data engineer right both although because every now and then i get calls where people will ask that, that is programming required for big data uh, technology do building data pipelines require programming knowledge so my answer to all of them is yes some part of the program is required because you will, although you will let's suppose if you are using aws or gcp as managed services you will definitely have to code to bring the entire pipeline together so these are the challenges that i faced and i think uh, if someone who is not from a big data pack background will also face these issues well i think uh, these are the you know like pretty much uh, most of the people who are not from a big data domain they do face these challenges i do agree on this uh but there is another thing that you quoted that it's a very vast domain i do understand that there are a lot of resources uh, available online to self prepare so how did you find i mean like did you kind of research and um, and how did you find this course um, different from self studying and as you mentioned you have taken up uh, the masters program um so if you could uh, how did you prepare yourself for it so as you said i mean there are many courses in the market today you can either go to youtube you can either go to dv and there are many courses but problem with each and every course is that they are not properly structured so when i started big data uh, my big data journey uh, i used to go through some youtube videos now let's suppose i am going through hype now they are not going to go in that much detail and the problem that i was not from a big data background is that you won't understand that whether the person who is telling in the video right whatever he is telling it is correct or not if it is if you can skip something if you cannot speak something skip skip something what is important what is not important what is relevant what is not relevant so you won't be knowing these things the best part of the big data masters program is that the course is very properly structured okay now um, only during the course when i was going through the course okay i the course is structured in a way that it is starts from the very basic and it will take you to an a level of expertise in each and every tool okay now when i was going through the course let's suppose i take an example of hive i thought i was basically architecting uh, things okay so as uh, man uh, so as a structure the course that you will be that uh, you can architect the entire big data pipeline which tool is better uh, in uh, what expect he he tells all these things how you can optimize a big data tech, uh, tools right because see data is a very huge domain you are getting data from each and every where right so uh, when you are getting so huge data then you need to think how you can optimize things which tool which will be better in uh, what uh, expect and where it will be good all these things you should have in mind when you are building a big data pipeline so yeah so this yeah, course I really helps in that way exactly i i do agree on that because uh, big data because of its sheer vastness it's really difficult to understand what to focus on and what not to and the course really helps you in you know when you get that uh, structured approach uh, where it covers only the relevant and uh, the ones that are required in the industry that will definitely help you out a lot 
so yeah and maybe i will also want to add uh, one more point is that uh, uh, people usually ask like that okay they are doing course but uh, when you go into some industry like right, into some company then the, how will you work in that production kind of environment so that course not only helps in different uh, modules but it will help you build the entire data plan from and data pipeline from end to end it is also helping you to productionize the data pipeline do a ci cd part because since i was not from a big data background i always felt that okay how will you i mean if you someone will tell you right how you, you will use git and how you will deploy the data pipelines that then also you will get overwhelmed so this also really helped me in that because it helps you building a data pipeline from end to end and also productionize the big data pipelines i totally agree there so my uh, next curious question is uh, what does it take to enter a company like walmart uh, any special preparations uh, as such um, and what is the level of uh, expertise that they look for from their candidates so see when you are coming into walmart or let it be any other company right one thing that you should definitely have, uh, have knowledge is dsa and as a data engineer sql is the most important thing that you should have you should every day Uh, practice on SQL because see when you are playing the data, um, no matter what framework you are using, SQL will definitely come, and you have to each and every day will have to play with SQL. The other thing that I, when I came into Walmart, I understood is that you should have a very good code readability, and that will happen only when you are practicing uh, DSA and SQL every day. Okay, and uh, now when you are coming into a such a big company like walmart right walmart gets huge amount tbs of data every day now if you go into any the other company or whether it be walmart when you are getting so much huge data right then the most important thing is that how you optimize things because see whether it is storage whether it is computing okay everything is related to some cost so every uh, managed service will incur you some cost okay and every company thinks that okay they have to reduce the cost of computing and storage as much as they can so this is also a most important thing and the course where the course really help because uh, sir has helped in one of the modules uh, sir has explained how you can optimize uh, things when you are uh, loading the data and when you are uh, computing things around okay how you can optimize things so this this is one of the uh, place where uh, the course really helps okay so this is one of the most important thing that i think in the interview also they are going to ask you because they are trying every company is trying to reduce the cost of storage and compute since because as the time is uh, uh, moving forward there is a lot of data is co- that is coming in so that is also very important and that uh, walmart is also focusing on mm-hmm. okay so apart from uh, the sq within data structures what are the main uh, modules that you need to focus on in Uh, with respect to the big data tech stack like the skill set uh, if you could uh, elaborate on that apart from sql uh, you, you should definitely have the knowledge of spark okay then now all the companies are currently shifting on uh, on cloud so in the course we have hive so although you can say that hive is different from on cloud technologies a bit different from on, on cloud technologies like s3 okay but the concept remains the same you will have the same concept whether you talk about external tables internal tables how do you bucket things how do you partition things all these things right all these things remain the same no matter what cloud technology you are using so this is uh, hive is very important uh, spark is very important spark spark structured streaming is very important if you have kafka knowledge of kafka then that is a plus point of view so if you are going into some streaming company like for uh, in that case we can take an example of hotstar where a lot of streaming data is coming right and in in just few months back we saw that uh, our indian cricket match was streamed okay and there was so huge crowd that was coming into that system okay so in that case uh, you will have to have knowledge of kafka where you have to handle things around uh, you have to optimize things around so com- in, in companies like hotstar where a lot of streaming data is coming you have to prepare kafka really well so that is also another point excellent yeah so that was a very good insight on what are the topics that you need to focus on for the interview uh, pers- uh, perspective uh, point of view so now um, i would like to understand your experience interview experience with walmart 
on a very high level if you could uh, share the different rounds um, and the major area of focus um, in each of the rounds so walmart will have five rounds uh, one round uh, three will be technical one will be managerial and the final will be an hr round in the first round they will basically focus on your sql skills and your dsa skills in sql skills you can expect questions uh, uh, related to their industry so uh, how do we manage the data every day right all these sql questions they are going to ask you and then uh, our dsa question you might they might not go to the level of trees binary trees and all but yes i mean having a good knowledge good hold on arrays strings link list will really help you because this is something that we use every day having a knowledge of collections how you use collections in uh, in big data we use collections in big data right so having a knowledge of collections will really help you in clearing the interviews so this is first round now going to the second round in the second round they will completely focus on spark everything how you optimize things how you read from various data sources they will ask you to use spark apis to write questions now sir sir has already explained in the course how using different ways you can write the program right i mean sql queries how you can use different uh, ways to write the uh, complete program so there they are going to focus on the spark apis because here uh, we uh, write uh, code in such a way that we try to generalize things and then having a knowledge of spark is apis in that case would really help you and they will uh, go in a lot of uh, depth in spark in the second round now in the third round comes uh, comes the managerial round in the managerial round the manager will basically focus on the low level low level design high level design that okay he will give you a use case when he will, he will try to understand how you are architecting your big data pipeline uh, if uh, he will uh, try to give you use cases where it, he will try to understand okay if this problem comes how will you understand he will also uh, give you questions okay let's suppose he has faced some question in uh, day to day right then he try to understand if you are able to solve it or not so in all these uh, rounds uh, right i advise everyone who is going to watch this video that try to uh, try to get the best possible an answer you may not be uh, you may not be 100% correct but you have to uh, they will only try to see that you are able to what is your procedure to towards the question how you are approaching what is what's your approach even if it is not 100% correct if it is 80% correct that is also fine and then we will have to find a lecture now so this is the complete interview process in bolmar okay yeah that was pretty much clear and you explained really well on uh, the different rounds as well uh so one uh, last question uh is were you expecting the hype that you received right now and uh, how did you really end up with uh, such a commendable hype in your ctc yeah so we uh, very frank i never expected the kind of hype that i have got okay but when you are going through the course right you will feel that kind of confidence that whether it be microsoft google netlassian all the companies that you could hire right you will be able to clear the interviews because sir has also told in one of the modules right that never uh, tell too much of what you have learned because person sitting in front of you right he will also be not knowing that much of uh, of uh, detail because see we are working in uh, every day to day use cases right but we are not doing everything what has been explained in the course so the the course is when well, we say that the course is a masters program so that is really a masters program that will cover each and every minute detail and will get, give you a confidence that not only you can work on a big data technology but you can also architect things which uh, tool and technology is good where and where to use which optimization technique you, uh, you can use at what uh, in what use case how can you reduce the storage cost and uh, how which uh, um, which uh, so every optimization technique that uh, is required to work as a big data engineer right all the things are there so this course really gives you the confidence that you can cross uh, that you can clear e any interview that is there and that really help me to get this much of hype If you would like to know more about the Big Data Masters program do check the description box and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get notifications on more such interesting podcasts and big data trends